Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting math problem today. We have m to the 9th power plus m to the 6th power equal to 36. So we need to find our m. How can you do this? There are a lot of approaches, maybe you will know the formula right here, but I want to show you one really interesting method, of course, with, with substitution and we will find it real quick and I hope you will enjoy this video. Okay, let's try to solve it. We have m to the 9th power. What we can think about this m to the 9th power and m to the 6th power? As you can see 9 and 6, there are a lot of like a huge power right here. There is not like cube, not like square that we like prefer to solve with these like low powers. We have 9 and 6, this is huge power. But if you're talking about 9 and 6, this is really good powers because we can write it as, for example, m to the 9th, yeah? We can write it as m cube raised to the third power, yeah? And this one plus m cube raised to the square equal to 36. So if you know a little bit about, about power property, right here if you multiply it, so 3 times 3 we will have the same, and 3 times 2 we will have the same as in the beginning, so nothing hard, and I hope you, you understand this step. Okay, right now m cube and m cube, same element, so we can write a substitution, so let m cube will be equal to, for example, t, yeah? If it's equal to t, we will have like t cube, so because right here we have cube, plus t square, and I bring this 36 to the left-hand side. Oh, I write it as right here, so in the right-hand side, but right now we need to bring it to the left-hand side. So t cube plus t square minus 36 equal to zero, yeah? So we have this equation. And there are a lot of approaches to solve this equation. This is a cubic equation, so we you can solve it in your own way using formula. But I want to show you my really interesting approach. So we need to find the factors of this 36. And let's check these factors real quick. There are a lot of factors of the 36 because we start with plus minus 1, plus minus 2, and we have like plus minus 3, and a lot of factors like 4, 9, 12, 18, like a lot of factors. But let's check, for example, positive 1, 2, 3. Let's try to start with this. So t equal to 1. We will have like real quick, uh, real quick plug-in right here, 1. So 1 cube, 1, plus 1 square, 1, minus 36, which is not equal to 0. So this is not good for us. So t equal to 1, this is not our case. Second, t equal to 2. Let's check it real quick. We will have like 2 cube, 8, plus 2 square, 4, and minus 36. 12 minus 36, this is not equal to 0. Okay, this is good. Let's go next. So t equal to 3. If t equal to 3, we will have the next equation. We will have like cubes all over here, 3 cube, 27 plus 9 and minus 36. So 27 plus 9 minus 36, this is really great because we find one factor. So t minus 3 will be our factor. This is really great. And right now we need to find like a tricky way to factor t minus 3 from this expression. And I want to show you my approach, how can you do this. So we have this equation, so t cube plus t square and minus 36 equal to 0. Yeah, so we have this situation. And in our minds we need to factor t minus 3. So take a look closely about this method. So we write this t cube and with t square I want to write this t square as minus 3 t square plus 4 t square and minus 36. And for those who don't understand what I, what I do, take a look closely. This is equal to t square, but right now I can factor from here t cubed minus 3 t square, I can factor t square. So t square, and in parentheses right here t minus 3, t minus 3. And let's go next, plus 4 t square. We have 4 t square, and we don't have t, so we have like cube, we have square, we don't have first power. So if we write it as minus 12 t plus 12t e minus 36 equal to 0, yeah? And right now, if we factor from this one, we will, if we factor 4t, we can will have t minus 3. So we will have like t square in the beginning, t minus 3, and plus 4t, in parentheses, t minus 3, and right now, take a look closely about the, in the end, 12t minus 36, if we factor 12, so plus 12, and in parentheses we'll have t minus 3. This is my way, of course you can solve it in your own way, you can find your, fa your factors, but I want to show you this approach. And right now, t minus 3, t minus 3, and t minus 3. We can easily factor it, t minus 3, and in parentheses we'll have t square plus 4t, 
and plus 12 equal to zero. Yeah, so we factor our our question. Let's go next. I will write this uh, this expression right here. So we have t minus three, and in parentheses we will have t square plus four t and plus twelve equal to zero. Okay, we factor our question, and right now we have a product of two parentheses. Yeah, this one and this one. So it's not hard to see that t minus three is equal to zero from our school or t square plus four t and plus 12 equal to zero. Let's for, try to, to solve this quadratic equation real quick. So we have t squared plus 4t and plus 12. Yeah, let's try to solve this quadratic equation. So with a, b, c, of course, a is equal to one, b equal to four, c equal to 12. And let's plug in all of this information. So t equal to minus b, so minus four, plus minus b squared, so four squared, minus 4 times 1 times 12 and all over all over 2 and right now let's simplify this a little bit we'll have like t equal to minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square 16 minus 4 times 1 times 12 it will be like 48 over over 2 okay let's go further so t equal to minus 4 plus minus 16 minus 48 it will be 32, but with a minus sign, minus 32, over, over two. Okay, let's go further. And right now we can easily see that we have a square root of minus, minus 32. So right here, this is complex, complex root right here. So we'll have like t equal to minus four plus minus, let's write this minus 32 as minus one times 32 over, over two. Okay, and the last step, we have a product and we have square root. So if we have a product, so no addition, subtraction, just like multiplication, we can write it as plus minus square root of minus one times square root of 32. Yeah, so we can write it in this way. And right now, take a look closely. This is our i, this is our complex variable, so right here over two, and we can write it our have a complex variable, so we will have like t equal to, so I write it as t equal to, minus four, minus four, plus minus i square root of 32 over, over two, yeah? So we find our complex root. And moreover, we can simplify this a little bit. We can write it as t equal to, right here we can divide all both sides by two. So we'll have minus two plus minus i square root of 32 over over 2 over 2 okay this is our complex root but moreover we need to plug in the to have a substitution so m cube equal to t and t equal to this equation so we have a, like a lot of complex roots right here it will be like a long video but we're interested in real number roots so let's go through it here so t minus 3 equal to 0 t equal to 3 Let's go to our substitution, so m cube equal to t, but t equal to 3. So m cube equal to 3. And if you find cubes root on both sides, we'll have like m equal to cubes root of 3. This is our, our answer. And let's check it real quick. Let's check our answer real quick. We will have like m to the ninth power. So we will have like cubes root of 3 to the ninth power plus cubes root of 3 to the 6th power equal to 36, yeah? Let's look to the left-hand side because this is our constant. Let's try to simplify this. So we'll have like 3 to the power 1 third raised to the 9th power plus 3 to the power 1 third raised to the 6th power equal to 36. Right here multiplying because we have like raising a to the power x raised to the power i, y, we will have like 1 third times 9, we will have 1 third we will have a three, sorry, so three cube plus right here, three square equal to 36. 27 plus nine equal to 36. So our proof is really good. So this is correct. We solve this, this problem. So our answer, I write it right here. So our answer, our answer M equal to cubes root, cubes root of three. Really interesting problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment, write your question, of course, about this problem. Maybe you solve it in another way. This is really interesting to read about it. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. 
See you in the next videos. Have a great day and take care of yourself. And write about your solution in the comment.